Hey guys, what's good? It's your girl Chris Corio here and today I'm at the Jamaica Star. I'm going to be teaching you five ways of how you can get a better wine. Because remember, you know, Jamaica Carnival is coming up, you know, we have less than two weeks to go and you need to be ready. So step one, you know we have to warm up, right? So warm up includes deep breathing, inhaling and exhaling to make sure that you relax the muscles so that your movements are fluid just like water. We're going to incorporate that breathing with some basic steps and we're going to go side, back, side and forward. If it helps, you can place your hands right here on your hips and guide the hips side to side. So here we go, breathing in for four, breathing out for four and doing those hips, babe. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. So now we're going to do a full circle and this is where the breathing is really important. Remember, we gotta be like water, all right? So here we do it. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four and four. So step two, a lot of us wonder how some people whine and when they whine they can go down low and they can stay up high, they can do all these things. It's because they're limber and they have quite a bit of range of motion in the hips. So I'm going to give you some really top tips on how you can make your whine better just by stretching. So first things first, we're moving from the torso then we're going right down into the hips babe. So start with me, put one hand on the hip and all I want you to do is stretch over to the side, you can relax the opposite hand down. If it feels good, you can even just look up to the opposite direction of where you're stretching. Ah, good. And then to the other side, same thing. You can hold this for as much as you feel is necessary for you to feel that really nice stretch. It shouldn't be painful. So if you're feeling pain, back off of the movement. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is a twist. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put one hand across, one hand at the back, and then I'm gonna pull myself around to look to the opposite direction. And then I'm gonna go to the opposite side and twisting around, same thing. And then following this, we're gonna move right down into the hips. I'm gonna turn on a diagonal so that you can see how my hips are gonna be pushing back. So I tilt the tailbone back and I come down into what we call a sumo squat in fitness and just use the elbows if it is available for you to open the hips right here. And you can sit here for about 10 minutes not 10 minutes, 10 seconds. <laughs> and just relax, do deep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. And you should have a much better wine, trust me on that. So hey, let's check it out just a little bit after we do those stretches. So bring the hips right around. Yeah, you feel how after stretching, it opens the hip joints a little bit more? Thank me later. So step three, one thing I get asked all the time as a dance instructor, Chris, I can whine now, but it feels so awkward. Where do I put my hands? Do I just put them here? And then some people end up looking like a scarecrow. Listen, relax. Let Chris help you out, okay? So one of the first things that you can do, you can just relax the hands by the side, make sure the joints are feeling okay. And remember those breathing exercises from step one, make sure you're doing some breathing while you're doing this. Relax the muscles, okay? So first things first, just hands are right here by the sides and just do a wind around, just simple. And then the arms and the shoulders, if you allow them, they just kind of move to the rhythm of where the hips are going. So you don't have to do a, a crazy, pushed and forced motion. If you're just winding here, the hands will just kind of go with the flow. The next thing that you can try to do, if you're confident, you can put the hands up right here. Some people are not really confident, they lift up them armpits, they're not really too confident with that. Know yourself and go with what you feel comfortable with, right? So you can put the hands up by the head and you can do the wind just like that. When you're here as well, it's important to make sure that you're still breathing, relaxing the muscles, right? You remember, you see how I'm saying every minute, relax, 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 because whining is not an hour we ago, right? You really have to relax. So the hands can come right here. Yeah, and if you're feeling great about that, you can just allow the hands to just slowly drop down and put them right by the hips, okay? And everybody knows how to do this one. We've been doing this one from what? We're like this little bit, right? Put the hands by the hips and you go just like that. If you are at Bad Gyal and you know for bend over and wine, the hands can reach all the way down to the knees, right? So if the hands are down by the knees, they can either be facing down like that, or I call this twerk hands where you turn the fingers in like this and then you do your wine like that, okay? All right, so that is the next step, where to put your hands. I hope you're learning, you know? All right, guys, so you don't know, so in Jamaica, we say go down there and stay down there. 
If you want to be able to go from high, go down to low, when you're winding on the road, these are what you need to practice. You need to be doing them every day, at least 10 to 20 minutes. You hear what I say? Okay. So first things first, just kind of wiggle the hips side to side, a nice good warm up. And then I want you to do a couple squats just to test your range. So going down, you check your range, all right? I can go that low. Or if this is where you are, listen to your body and stay in that area, okay? Then what you're gonna do once you feel good and ready is start to do some whining. Do it up high, and when you're comfortable, you start to take it down low, right? And if you are losing your balance going down, there's nothing wrong with holding on to a wall. Do this every day for 10 to 20 minutes. Make sure that you do it and listen to your body. Don't feel no pain when you do it. And if you're feeling pain, stop. All right? So that's what we do for going down low. Moving on to the next step. So number five, the most important, arguably so, bending over with your wine. Over, bend over, wine to the ground. So. When you're going to bend over, again, it goes back to step one, people. Side, back, side, forward. It's the same thing you're doing when you're bending over. Now, if you're bending over, your hands, your fingers can either be pointing down or facing in. Personally, this is the one that I like, yeah? So, if you bend over, same thing. Wind the hips around, around, around. The one thing I want you to think about though when you're doing that bend over is Caribbean culture and the whole other we have same, similar ancestry, right? When you have to arch the back and make the boomsy pronounced, right? Because this position is typically where you dance with a partner. Let's call a thing a thing. So when you bend over, I don't want just a stiff board like this. When you have to arch the back and make it sexy. So from here, we're going to do about four together. Ready? Let's go. And one, two, three, four, all right? And if I come to the front, I the same thing. So see, it's the same thing I'm doing, you know? All I'm doing now is I bend forward and I bring my torso forward, all right? A little quick tip, if you don't have a partner to practice with, then go catch a wall. Do it on the wall and make sure you're good with it. All right, guys, it's your girl, Chris Corio. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today for five tips on improving your wine. So make sure you practice and you will be at on the road in a member me tell you. If you want to continue to follow me for more, I can be reached at Instagram at Chris underscore Corio, on TikTok at official Chris underscore Corio, or on YouTube at Chris Corio. I will be having a Carnival Friday dance class that's dance all and soca. My team and I will be out and loud. Make sure you come and join us. It's going to be at the In Motion Dance Studio, 6.30 to 8 p.m. You can check the link down below, www.chriscorio.co. That's my website for more information. Also, I'll be on the road with Gen X S for Soca Carnival in Jamaica. I can't wait. Don't be shy to come and take a picture to come and dance with me. I don't bite. All right, so make sure you come out. Boom.